Somebody say hallelujah. Genesis chapter 32. 32. Genesis chapter 32. Genesis chapter 32. Genesis chapter 32. When you talk about the future, a lot of people are afraid of the future. They are afraid of what the future will turn out for them. So it's a new year today, but some people are really scared. How about what the new year will look like? They're thinking, what would the new year look for me in terms of my health? I'm growing older. What would the new year look like for me in terms of my career? What would the new year look like for me? And if you're not careful, fear begins to grip their heart because of this fear of the future. And they're thinking to themselves, all the goals I have, I hope nothing will go wrong. All the dreams I have, I hope nothing will go wrong. There are people that feel already, they feel very discouraged. They feel very depressed. And they're just dragging themselves through life. I remember a story of someone that was a relative of mine. Something terrible had happened. And I remember that, you know, just, I mean, what, was, what happened was really terrible. Then he went to a wall and began to hit his head against the wall. And when I saw him, I said, hitting your head against the wall, does it change anything? It will only cause you more pain. What do you do when you need change? What do you do when you need change? What do you do when your spirit is drained out? What do you do when the forces of life comes almost crashing over your head? What do you do when the doctor looks at you and says, Madam, I think you have a cancer. What do you do if all of a sudden the fire in your spirit begins to feel so low? What do you do when you need a change? Maybe the government puts a policy there. And you're wondering, this has to change because this doesn't favor me. Or maybe you're just overwhelmed. You're just discouraged. Or you're just troubled. Troubled about your grandchildren. Troubled about your children. What do you do? Genesis chapter 32. We're going to read the story of a man that was really troubled. The Bible says in verse 1, And Jacob went on his way. And the angels of God met him. That is just a powerful statement. I pray that the angels of God will meet you today. I said I pray that the angels of God will meet you today. The Bible says, and the angels of God met him. Verse 2, let's keep going. And Jacob saw them and he said, this is God's host. And he called the name of that place Mahanim. And Jacob sent servants before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir and the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, in verse 4, Thus shall ye say unto him, my Lord, so shall ye say unto him, my Lord, my Lord Esau, thy servant Jacob saith, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed on with him until now. I have oxen, I have asses, I have flocks, I have men servants, I have women servants, and I've sent them to tell my Lord. That I may find grace in thy sight. <laughs> and, the and the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to the brother Esau, and also, he says, As we're going to meet Esau, he was coming to meet us with 400 men with him. Wow. Let me give the background of the story. The background was this very powerful story. Jacob had taken Esau's blessing, and Esau was very upset. And he had looked for a way to kill Jacob. And Jacob ran to Laban, his mother's brother. Then all of a sudden, after some years, God told him to return back to his own land. And as he was returning back, he had his fears. He had his own fears. What were his fears? His fear was this. This man was trying to kill me. He had that fear. Some of you are really scared of the future. He had that fear. And I don't know why you're afraid. But you've come to the right place. You know, some people, as you grow older, you don't become afraid. 
I hope I don't have the same sickness my parents had. I hope that my, I hope nothing goes wrong with my business. You begin to have other fear. I hope that the kind of success I've had, I can maintain it and grow from one level to another level. And you begin to have that kind of fear. This was the fear of Jacob. Jacob was a smart person. Number one, all that Esau had, he was entitled to it because he was also the son of Isaac. Because Esau inherited stuff from Isaac. So guess what happened? He said, go and tell my brother Esau that I've come. And I have money already. So he should not bother if I'm going to share the wealth with him. He said, let him not bother if I'm going to share the wealth with him. Okay, that's fine. But the question is this. As he sent his men, Esau also was coming with 400 men. Then he was troubled. He said, if Esau wanted to meet me in peace, why is he coming with 400 men? Why is he not coming with women and children? Why is he coming with only men? This can be a soldier in disguise. Have you watched all those Chinese movies before? Where they pretend, or all those movies where they pretend to be normal men, but they are machineries. He said, these people are not just men, they are machineries. 400 were there were coming. And look at what the Bible says. The Bible says in verse 7, And Jacob was greatly afraid. And he was distressed, discouraged. He said he was greatly afraid. And he was distressed, discouraged. I'm, I'm going to jump to verse 9. Then all of a sudden, Jacob turned to prayer. What? Jacob turned to prayer. I want to ask you, are you having a project that is taking off your mind? Turn to prayer. He said he was greatly afraid. When he was greatly afraid, he had people he could turn to, but he turned to prayer. Glory to God. I, I don't know what the doctors have told you, but turn to prayer. And the reason I'm saying so today, the reason why I'm saying so today is this. A lot of people are talking to men, but you need to be talking to God. Listen to me. Oh God, through prayer, we move the hands that shake the world. <laughs> through prayer, we move the hands that shake the world. If there is a man that can pray, there's a God that can answer. I don't know if you heard me. If there's a man that can pray, there's a God that can answer. Why? People are saying, why is the God of Elijah? God is saying, where are the Elijahs of the living God? If there is a man that can pray, there is a God that can answer. Most failures we experience is traceable to a failure in prayer. When you have options, you will not pray. What's there to pray about? You're not the governor. You have the best cardiologist. You have the best connection. You come from a huge family background. Your CV is heavy. Your bank account is heavy. Your health is okay. I always tell people something. When people say, I, I'm not a prayer person. I always say this. You are not a prayer person because you have not found what to make you pray. When you find what to make you pray, you will pray. You'll be surprised that your husband that cannot fast, when he has something to pray about, he will say, only you're not eating now. Two days, he will say, I'm fasting. And why is he fasting? No, there's something to pray about. The Bible says, oh, this is very powerful. This is very powerful. Hey, Jacob, Jacob said unto the Lord. Jacob said unto the Lord. He said, oh, God of my father Abraham. He said, the God of my father Isaac. The God that saith unto me, return unto the country and to the king, to thy kindred. And I shall deal well with you. He says, I'm not worthy of all of the least of all thy messes, and of the truth which thou showest unto thy, and of the and of all the truth which thou showest unto thy servant, for my staff have passed over this Jordan. Now I have become too bound. He said, Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hands of my brother and from the hands of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with their children. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> Glory to God. Let's jump to verse 24. Uh -huh. The Bible says, and Jacob, verse 24 now. Verse 24 now. The Bible says, then it came to pass, and Jacob was left alone. I'm going to have to take off my jacket. Praise God. <laughs> The Bible says, and Jacob was left what? Alone. <laughs> the biggest prayer is when you're by yourself. 
listen to me. When you have this, oh my God, when you have this other option, you are pressing your phone, you are talking to this, and you are praying on one hand, the prayer has not entered. The Bible says, and Jacob was left alone. Hey, hey, you have been going through this season of spiritual dryness. You can pray for such a long time. You, you are not as burning as you used to be. One of the signs that you have lost your prayer life is this. You will begin to lose spiritual sensitivity. You will become like the old prophet. See many things but cannot understand. Why? Because you have lost your sensitivity in the place of prayer. The people that pray see. The people that pray see. Because there's something about prayer that transcends the physical. It makes you enter the superlunar. You enter the dimension of the supernatural. Oh, glory to God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost everywhere. And let me tell you, as I'm speaking, the miracles of God will begin to happen. I can hear you thunder your amen. amen. At the back, I can hear your amen. amen. Don't wait for, don't wait. For, I'm waiting for prayer time. What's prayer time? The, this prayer time. As we're speaking, the one that came with your crutches, strength will come to your leg. You will pick up your leg and you'll begin to walk. And you'll begin to walk. The, the, one, the one that had, uh, oh my God. You know, last year, wine prayers. I don't know if you heard some of the testimonies. Last year, wine prayers. There was a man that said that, he told me, he'd been married for maybe about 10 years plus or thereabout. He said there was an approval he's been waiting for when he was in his 30s from the government. He said, Pastor, I've crossed 50 now. He said, it was in wine press that night. I got the text and they said the government just approved it. Why? Because when prayer has the capacity to move doors... But this is how it happens. Some of you are really afraid. You want to start a new project, you're afraid. You want to start a ministry, you're afraid. You're just afraid of the future. God has told you something, you're afraid. What do you need to do? You need to be alone. Be alone like Jacob. The Bible says, and when Jacob was left by himself, there was no father, there was no mother, no bank account, no manager. He said, Jacob was left by himself. Oh, glory to God. He was left by himself. He said, and all of a sudden, they wrestled a man with him to the breaking of the day. The next verse, verse 25. Verse 25 says this. Let me show you quickly. He says this in verse 25. He said, and when he saw that, Bible says this, and there was a man with him wrestling to the breaking of the day. You must understand that this figurative. The Bible says in verse 25, and when he saw it prevailed not, he touched the hollow of what? Of his side. The first thing prayer does, let me tell you now. It's not that prayer changes things. Prayer changes the one that prays. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm telling you. If you pray, the first thing prayer does is to work on you. The Bible says in the New Testament, as Jesus Christ prayed, his countenance was altered. Something is taken from you. Something is taken from you. The place of prayer is a place of divine exchange. The place of prayer is a place of divine exchange. We bring in weakness and receive strength. Hallelujah. We bring in weakness and receive strength. The first thing prayer does is to change you as a person. Hallelujah. Have you lost your zeal for God? Have you lost your passion for the things of the spirit? Have you lost your hearing ability? Step into the place of prayer. As you pray, the fire of the spirit will be burning in your heart, burning in your soul, burning within you. It will consume the lukewarmness. It will consume the lethargy. It will consume the weakness. If you really say, I receive it. Oh wow. Lift up your hands and pray in tongues one minute. Stand on your feet if you can. I, I, I'm not even seeing you pray. Lord, I want an upgrade. Lord, I want an upgrade. You are going to put new wine in new wine skin. Lord, I want an upgrade. Who wants an upgrade here? I need to move to the next level. Go ahead and ask him. Let me hear you raise up your voice. Lord, I want an upgrade. That's why I've come. That's why I've come. Ponte ke suste eke polanta kaya e pushka balabaya. Shout! I receive it. 
Say with me, say, Lord, I want an upgrade. Yesterday was good, but today is better. Oh, Zandahaya. Leave out that man, take her. I, I want an upgrade. I want an upgrade. I, I want to go deeper. I want to know you more. There are dimensions that you have not explored. Oh man, toki shapa yagata. Spirit of God, take me deeper. There are things I saw Elijah did. There are things that Elisha did. There are things that Paul said. There are things that I'm a right in Christ Jesus. It's time to press in. For as soon as Zion traveled, she gave birth. A katopa, a sobalate, a poroba yagata. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Take two minutes and pray. 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 Ratatabaya, ye brota payo, se brande kaya, ye branda kola, iman brosea, e brako peletusha, em badagaya. If your prayer life is dead, la mataya bade. Can you give them some volume? If your prayer life is dead, pray for a revival. Let fresh fire. Let fresh fire. Let fresh fire. That's why you have come. For God to touch you. Oh, Kabanana. Oh. Let me hear you pray. 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 In Jesus' name. Anzo Belledi Hata. Thank you, Lord. There's a lady here. In your dream, you have this kind of attack. And when you wake up, you'll find marks on your body. Anywhere you are, come out. I want to pray for you. I'm a prophet of God. Anywhere you are, come out. I want to pray for you. Then there's someone else here. Someone cursed you and said you will never marry. Today, that curse will be broken. Come on, let me pray for you. Oh, bad luck, Gabahaya. Can someone be just play in a higher volume? He is here. He is here. Oh, bad lega namata. Let Paul Tamandika Sabalade. Let Kemen and Tobra di Hata Liprate Kabanama O Rapasata Kabala Barabadaya Metele Boka Palabasata Metele Berete Gedes. Let someone from the choir pick the microphone. O Shata Banante Kabala Badia O Lake Tushke Palamante Kabali O Taleka Manta Kabala Haya. Okay. Wow, I've got more than enough people than I thought. Glory to God. And some people, because of the, of the crowd, some people are still coming from the far back. But anywhere you're standing, you, you don't have to come forward again. Just stand anywhere you are because of, the, the, of time. Anywhere you are. As I pray for you, the power of God will touch you. Every curse. This Bible says this. He said, you cannot curse the one the Lord has blessed. So therefore, I declare. He said, a curse, curseless will not work. He said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. He says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. 
all things have passed away and behold all things have become new God said in Ezekiel I will change the proverb that the truth the fathers eat grapes and the children set their teeth on such head every curse that stayed on you that's prevented you from marriage in the name of Jesus I uproot it I said I uproot it I said I uproot it in the name of Jesus and right now everyone that has an oppression you sleep you wake up there's someone when you sleep you feel this oppression also either your pressure in your sleep you see marks in your body someone tries to sleep with you in the dream whatever it is Bible says for this purpose what the Son of God manifested that he may destroy the work of Satan in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ your foul spirits of darkness loose them now I say loose them now hold that girl hold that girl loose them now loose them now loose them oh my god hold up loose them now 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 you foul spirit of darkness i command in the name of jesus come out of your life i say out i say out in the name of jesus that is a part of the Holy Ghost. That's a part. Look at that lady. That's a part. That's a part of the Holy Ghost. Loose that now. Loose that girl now. 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 Out of her. 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 Loose. 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 Loose her now. Out of her like a Oh, I declare from today you are totally free. I said you are totally free. I say you are totally free. By next wine press, you are coming back with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. Say grace. Say grace. Say grace. Say this is my story. God bless you. you can go back to your seats. You can have your seat. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I say glory to God. Oh, wow. Thank you for your presence. So what did I say? Prayer is a place of exchange. Prayer is what? A place of exchange. If you feel weak, let me tell you something. A lot of people that feel depressed, if they can pray, that depression will lift. The reason why is that you can't feel depressed and be prayerful. Because the very concept of prayer means you're hopeful. So there's something, there's hope that comes with prayer. Because the place of prayer is a place of joy. The place of prayer is a place of strength. Someone says, I'm depressed over my life. My brother gets into prayer. Someone says, I'm depressed over my finance. Get into prayer. All right, Bible says with joy shall you fetch water out of the wells of salvation. Glory to God. What does prayer do for you again? Prayer is a place of assurance and confidence. Have you noticed what the Bible says when the apostles prayed? When the apostles prayed, and let me say this to you. Let me say this to you quickly. You can know the Bible till tomorrow. It will not produce your boldness. You can know the Bible like a parrot. And meanwhile, if a harvest confronts you, if a harvest confronts you, you will forget all you know and begin to say nonsense. The reason why is that what produces boldness is a power prayer. The Bible says, as the apostles prayed, they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they spake the word of God boldly. They spake the word boldly. You are going for a presentation. You can find fear somewhere. Oh, say, just tell your secretary, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I don't know why I feel shaky. Step into the toilet. Ah, uh, man, nah, 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 nah. This time, don't pray long prayer. What you need is a quick charge. You know, quick charge. 
in a quick charge. Have you ever charged your phone dead before? And you want to do it? It's a quick charge. You don't go father and then mm, it's a quick charge. You just enter the petrol. Purama toma na poraba koraba ibaraba shaylo kopata. Oh satanabaya. Why? You were stirring up the gift of God. The Bible says, stir up the gift of God that is within you. I stir up eternal life. I stir up the power of the Holy Ghost. I stir up the name of Jesus. It's a quick charge. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. You went to see the doctor. Doctor said, ah, madam, I'm seeing something. He's your fallopian tube. He said, doctor, say what you want to say. Say it quickly. He said, if I don't plan to, mm, I'm not sure, but I'm almost sure that the fallopian tube is blocked. He said, doctor, hold on there. Where's your restroom? Before the bad news enter, before the bad news sink inside, you enter the toilet. If the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if it was on the inside of me, it's a quick in my mortal body. This same spirit, you pray in tongues. Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. The Bible says all things are possible to him that believeth. If it is shout amen. Glory to God. Why? Because prayer is a place of exchange. We exchange our weakness. We exchange our doubt. We exchange it for boldness and certainty. Did you notice? When it was time to die, Jesus Christ said, let's go and pray. And when it was done, he said, get up, let us go. He said, get up, let us go. That's what happens in prayer. That's what happens in prayer. When you see, when you really meet people, I, I, I've worked with people that can pray. I, I'm telling you, I've worked with a lot of people that can pray. I have people that are my close friends that pray 21 hour stretch. One of the things you will notice is that you almost think that they're braggadocious. But it's not braggadocious, it's not a braggadociousness, it's a confidence and boldness that come from the Spirit. Pray every people are hardly timid. The reason why is that once they touch the realm of the superlunar, boldness will come. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. I was in the university. I was in my, I think, third or final year. And we had this massive move of God and court members and different kind of people got born again. And there was this court member that got born again. And told the court members in the university, I don't know if they're sick courts in schools right now. And he said, I'm born again now. I can't do court and all of those things again. And they told him that you can never leave. He said, if you leave, we'll kill you. The guy came to tell me. I went to the University of Lagos. And when he told me, I mean, in school I was way tinier than this. When he told me, oh wow, the power of God rose so strong inside me. I told the guy, as he was telling me what I said, get up. I said, enter the car. Let's go to the, to the, to the head room. They called them Capone. I said, let's go to his room. And I picked my Bible. You would have thought I picked a weapon, but I picked a weapon. But the weapon is not the kind of weapon you taught. So I said, get in the car. Walk. And as we went there, we drove. When we got to the hall, it's a, it's a complex called New York. He was, I said, which was I said, this was I said, go. When he got to the floor, I said, which room? He told me, I said, stay at the back. I will stay in front. The guy I said, stay at the back, was bigger than me. But there's something about when you are intoxicated with this thing. There's something about when you have experienced this power. This Holy Ghost power. This Holy Ghost power. This Holy Ghost power. He takes over your being. Praise God. When we got there, I saw the room. I didn't knock on the room. I banged the room. I banged it about four times. I went, God, 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 God. They got came out. I said, I'm looking for this person. Of course, it was also in the, it was also in the court because all of them that stay in the room belong to that court. They said, he's not around. They didn't really open the door. I said, I've just come to warn him that this is God's firstborn. Like God, like, like Moses told Pharaoh, if you don't leave my firstborn, he said, I will take your firstborn. He said, I've come to warn you. 
You can't say that. It's not that difficult. Eh? You know, because I could tell that as I saw him, he came under an overwhelming power of the spirits that made him, be, he was compelled. This thing is not religion. It's dynamic power. They, they, they put, they put calabash up, moi moi, a car, palm oil on your door. And as I say, hey, 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 what nonsense. From when I was 12, I used to kick it away. The Bible says, I'm the head of principalities and powers. You are offering to a witch and wizard. They are not even the category of principalities and powers. It says, I am the head of principalities and powers. I'm seated far above principalities and powers. I'm not, I'm not afraid of red cloth with cowrie. Cowrie they picked up by Lagoon Beach. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. The Bible says there's no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. He said, associate yourself together. You shall be broken in pieces. He said, bind yourself together. You shall be scattered in pieces. He said, no weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you is condemned already. If you believe it, shout amen. Someone says, I will show you. When they say, I will show you, you will kneel down for them. You say, Babami, don't try it. Not that I will fight you, but for trying it, you are gone. <laughs> you know, many of you think the power of God is like what you watch from Zakoji, Zebejiro, Funke, Akindele. That's Hollywood people. That's the power of God. This is how they show the power of God. That from the spirit, them, they will call or fire you. You will not see one fire coming like this. Then you will be sleeping over here. You'll be sleeping over here. Then all of a sudden, something will wake you up. Bah! I say, start praying. The person that start praying. So as you're praying, one fire will not come out from your mouth or from the Bible. And go and catch that other fire and cancel it. Nonsense. I said, non what? Nonsense. Look at him and say, nonsense. nonsense. Listen to me. Even in my dream, I'm, I'm full of power. Even in my dream, I'm full of power. It's not when I wake that I have power. L listen to me. The, even when I'm sleeping, the Bible says, He that watches over Israel, neither sleeps nor slumber. Are you hearing me? While I'm busy sleeping, warrior angels are awake. They are awake. Words that I've spoken are walking. The prayers are wine prayers are walking. Oh my God, if you believe it, shout amen. amen. Let me hear your amen. amen. Hey. Someone says, I will not approve your file. That person is too small to say that. Yes, sir. You didn't hear what God said. He says, I'm the one that opens the door. Yes, and no man can shut it. I'm the one that shuts yes, the door. And no man can open it. Every approval you are praying for is released. 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 In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it now. There are some of you that came on crutches. Start getting ready. Start getting ready. Because in a moment, you will not need them again. Oh, glory to God. I said glory to God. So what does prayer do? The first thing, prayer is a place of exchange. Some of you, see, prayer is a place where we renew our strength. Prayer is a place where, where, where the fire of the Spirit is ignited in us and propelled to another level. Number two, what does prayer do? And let me tell you something. If you don't know how to pray, you can learn how to pray. A lot of people will tell you, before I joined Next Level Prayers, I, I couldn't pray for 30 minutes. But now I can pray two hours. 
Because it's not just a prayer platform. It's a prayer training platform. The second thing prayer does for you is this. Prayer brings you assurance and confidence. How can someone, because they have a baba in Ibadan, say, me, as far as I'm concerned, tap his chest. And you, the child of the kingdom, you can't tap your chest. Prayer produces assurance and confidence. The third thing prayer does is this. Does anybody have a check leaflet here? Just a check leaflet. A check leaflet. Thank you. Just a check leaflet. Just give it to me. Come with it. Let's say that very great pastor had written me a check. Come, come, come. He had written me a check for 10 million naira. And he gave it to me. He gave me the check. And I take it. And I keep it in my book. Will I get the value? Why? Because the check needs to be enforced in the bank. The check needs to be withdrawn. The check needs to be presented. Prophecy don't just happen. They need to be presented on the platform of prayer. Prophecy don't just happen. They need to, so you come and say, and God said, and God said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Even the birth of Jesus, the Bible says there was a man in the temple, a woman called Anaya, a man called Simeon. They were praying into existence the prophecy of Jesus. No wonder the Bible says, as soon as Zion traveled, she gave birth. Some of you, should I be honest with you? The reason why you are doing well, if you want to be honest, is because of your mother's prayer. Your mother did not understand grandma. Oh. She was not too, she, she didn't send to London and Cambridge, but she offered you prayer. She offered you prayer. The question I'm asking you now, now that you are grown, will you leave the same legacy for your children? Your prayer is something you give your children. When you are grown, it keeps working. Go, oh, man. A man told me one time, he said, the, next, the second year my mother died, he said, all my life capsided. He said, then I knew that it was my mother praying for me. He said that I wasn't praying for myself. Then I took responsibility. Why? Prayer enforces. So, a prayer, if your prophecy is a check, through prayer, you take it to the bank. How do you do it? God, this is what you said. You know, so the doctor said that, um, I'm sorry, you have an accident, you can't walk well, you have cancer. You go to God in prayer. You say, your word says, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. You enforce that word through prayer. Your children are troubling you. The Bible says, great shall be the peace of your children. You enforce that word through prayer. They say that, ha, ah, this is what is happening with dollar. That's what is happening with naira. You will tell yourself, when men say there's a casting down, he said, we shall say, there is what? A lifting up. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. Prayer is very powerful. The book of Esther is a powerful book on prayer. There was a man called Mordecai and the, the other man, Haman. Haman was the arch enemy of Mordecai. And all of a sudden, Haman had gotten angry at the Jews and said he was going to wipe them out. But Mordecai and Esther, they understood the residual amazing powerful effect of prayer. My brother, you need to catch the fire. If you cannot pray, you need to train yourself to pray. And not just praying for things. You need to burn in prayer. You need to burn in prayer. You need to burn in prayer. You want to see some results? You need to learn to pray. Ah, life answers to power, not grammar. Life answers to power, not grammar. Oh, this, um, um, you know, um, uh, I just came back from, the Lin from London. Yeah. yeah, I got back from London. I'm, I'm just wondering if the opportunity is here. <laughs> You have not started. <laughs> when you start, you will know it's not by phonetics. It's by powertics. <laughs> it's not by phonetics. It's by what? Powertics. <laughs> you, you will not wear white native to show as if you have arrived, but inside there's nothing. You will not know it's not by decoration. It's by impartation. <laughs> like, um... You know, I want to get married. Um, I, I know what to do. I'll just go out some more. You know, walk, touch up, touch up, like, you know, touch up. 
my, my makeup, touch up my face, you know, all of those kind of things, you know, then I, I'm sure once I just go out more, I'll find someone to marry. <laughs> you will soon know. They play. <laughs> Do what? They play. <laughs> you will soon know. Huh? It's not by power. <laughs> it's not by might. It's by the Spirit of the Lord. Have you not noticed? The most beautiful girls are not married. Why? The race is not to the sweet. The battle is not to the strong. In fact, sometimes when your friend marries, you now look and say, ah, see who you marry. You look at the girl up to down. You look at front and back. You say, what is in this one? Because the girl has dated some hotter, hotter, hottest, most hottest. But there was no grace. There was no spirit power to make that happen. So the Bible says in the book of Esther that Amen, I want to show you what prayer does, that Amen had planned to destroy Mordecai and the Jews. Mordecai is called Esther. He said, let us pray. The first thing prayer did, hey, yeah. Esther said, you want me to go and talk to the king? He said, I will go, but support with prayer. The problem is that you keep, supplant, you keep submitting the document without prayer. Esther said, if I go just like that, without spiritual backing, it can backfire. You have an appointment with this MD. You just go like that. The man said, thank you for coming. Go. The reason why is that you were not backed up. Get a backup before you go. Esther said, before I go, he said, if I go and see the king without prayer, he said, I'll be killed. He said, what should we do? Fast for three days. Pray for three days. Uh-huh. And they began to pray. Because Esther understood that prayer can change policies. Did you understand that? Prayer can what? Alter policies. Someone sent me a testimony from Next Level Prayer. He said one of the largest, he said one of the largest bank in the UK, top three. He said, imagine they change their policy because of me. He said, who am I? How much do I do in volume of business that they would change their policy because of me? A lady, a lady got a job. She said, Pastor, it's not the job that I got. It's the fact that, I, I can't remember how they put the testimony, but this is what I remember. It says the fact that when I applied for the job, I didn't apply right. By the time I got it, the portal was closed. He said, but because he wanted to employ me, he said, the lady said, I will open the portal between this time. Impute your details. I will open it just for you. He said, who am I that's so interested? Prayer changes policies. Some of you are here. There's policy working against you from the government. There's policy working against you from the bank. There's policy working against you from the immigration office. There's policy working against you in one area or the other. Prayer has the potentials to turn it around. And that's why you're praying. He, he understood the power of prayer. He says, it's not lawful to go to the king, but let's go ahead and pray. The second thing prayer does is this. Prayer makes people remember you. The Bible says this. Ah, you will soon pray one prayer. Prayer makes, the Bible says this. Oh, When they began to pray, the king could not sleep. What will make the king not be able to sleep? The kings have the best bed. They eat the best food. They have the best masseuse and massage. Why would the king not sleep? Because prayer had begun to walk. Then all of a sudden, he said, bring the books of the chronicles of the king. Because prayer was not directing him. Because someone called Mordecai must be remembered. Hallelujah. Anywhere your help has her. Anywhere your help has her. At this hour. Anywhere your help has her. Anywhere your support has her. At this hour, your name will be hammered into their mind. Anywhere your help has her, anywhere your help has her, in that local, in that international, I say your name will be hammered into their minds. It will be hammered into their minds. It will be hammered into their minds. In the name of Jesus. The one you've been chasing about will start reaching out to you. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. 
to God. Please, you can have your seat. Prayer makes people remember you. All of a sudden, someone thinks about you and says, I don't know why I've been thinking about you for such a long time. And it's a walk of angels. Angels have dropped your name. Angels have dropped your name on their life. The question is this. This is a question. This is a question. I was explaining something in church, and this remember you has a deeper meaning. The non Yorubas, I want to apologize ahead of time. The Bible says, In the day of his power, his people shall what? Be willing. But how does power come? The Bible says, The prayer of a righteous man make it tremendous power available. Indirectly, prayer makes power available, power makes willingness possible. When you are prayerful, People become willing to help you. In the Yoruba word, it's called prayer gets you what the Yoruba is called iyonwenio. You will just hear, um, yeah, I, I know you can do that, but I prefer him to do it. And you're wondering, why do you prefer him to do it? Because prayer has worked on willingness. You've been pushing your farm, pushing your farm, push the willingness. You've been pushing your case, pushing your case. Touch the willingness. He said in the day of his power, his people shall be willing. In marriage, touch the willingness. Didn't you hear what Ruth said? Ruth told, Ruth, Ruth told, I'm um, sorry. Naomi told Ruth, Naomi told Ruth. He said, I will find help and rest from you. Willingness. Some of you, all you need is for someone to stand up for you. Someone to speak for you. Someone to push your cause. It's willingness. Our will willingness come. In the day of his power, his people shall become willing. You will just find a stranger that will be like, ah, why have you not promoted in this office? Ah, why are you still here? You have been here for such a long time. <laughs> oh, glory to God. But the question is that, can you pray? Can you pray? You can either play or pray. You can either play or pray. You can either be a player or a prayer. You can either be a player or what? A prayer. I choose to be a prayer. I choose to partner with the hand that moves the world. And let me say something to you. Prayer is not just about things. It's about you. It's about that deeper relationship with the Holy Ghost. I want to ask you, do you want to change? Do you want to change? Do you want to change? Do you want God to step in for you? Do you want a miracle? You've heard what the doctor said, but you came because you know all things are possible to him that believeth. You've seen where your friends are financially, but you came because you know all things are possible to him that believeth. What about your children? What about your children's children? Can you pray? If a man can pray, the man will see the hand of God. Stand on your feet, let us pray. We're going to spend the next three minutes to pray. I, I believe that you have things you want to pray about. Do you have your letter of revelation? Do you have your prayer requests? Those are things you want to pray about. Uh, let's pray in tongues for the first three minutes. Oh, thank you, Jesus.
Jesus they will pray this year will not bring you pain Amen. I said this year will not bring you shame this year move to a higher level of glory move to a higher level of glory move to a higher level of glory in the name of Jesus I'm going to guide you in some prayer points after which I will just pray I'm going to pray for those two categories today I'm going to pray for those that delayed when it comes to marriage but because of time we had some power issues so I came up a bit late but tomorrow, we'll spend time to pray for those that have to lay marriages. And I'm going to pray for the sick today. But tomorrow, we'll take out a lot of time. Tomorrow, particularly, is a miracle night. Tomorrow, particularly, is what? A miracle night. And listen, all of you that you couldn't, get, you, you couldn't have a child before, you couldn't get married because of complications, and within the last one year, you've got a miracle. When you come tomorrow, we're going to have a Thanksgiving for you. You're going to come out and sing because there are literally hundreds of people that, you know, there was a testimony I heard this morning on Next Level. The woman was barren for how many years? 16 years. She was barren for 16 years. She had triplets. So we have loads and loads of people like that. And as you are thanking God for that, it will multiply. So for all of you, either you are carrying the baby in your womb or you are carrying it in your hand, you will come out and testify. If you're already married or you're engaged, you will come out and testify. And when I say testify, not necessarily on the stage, you just come out. I will just come out and pray for you a prayer of thanksgiving. So tomorrow will be very powerful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There are some prayers I want to lead us to pray. Ezra chapter 8, verse 21. This is the first prayer. I wanted to read the scripture together. Let's read together. Ezra chapter 8, verse 21. Ezra chapter 8, verse 21. Can we read together? I want to go. Then I proclaim a fast there at the river Havana that we might afflict ourselves before our God. Read the next line. To seek of him a right way for us. My father, my father. My father, my father. Show me the right way this year. A part of Allah, lift up your voice and pray, everybody. Show me the right way. Every businessman pray. Every mother pray. Every single man pray. Every single woman pray. Show me the right way. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone on the wrong path be recovered. Kashilo Pero Shaito Kaba. Everyone on the wrong career path be recovered. Everyone on the wrong project path be recovered. Everyone on the wrong business path be recovered. Everyone on the wrong relationship path be recovered. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you, you will not call darkness lights. You will not call darkness lights. In the name of Jesus, receive the right way in your pieces. As a grandmother, receive the right way. As a father, receive the right way. In your finance, receive the right way. Know what to do. Know when to do it. Know with whom to do it. Know how to do it. Confusion is over. Everyone under the sound of my voice has been stranded. Right now, I command the stagnation to be terminated. I command the stagnation to be terminated. In the name of Jesus. Same extra, chapter 8, 
verse 22. Oh, wow. Look at verse 22. It says, For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way. Why was he ashamed? Look at why he was ashamed. He wasn't ashamed because he was proud. Look at the next line. Because we had spoken to the king, saying that the hand of God was upon us, all them for good, that seek him, and put his power and wrath is against all them that forsake them. You know what they were saying? They said, we could have asked the governor for help. We could have asked the MD for help. We could ask for recommendation. He said, we didn't. Why? Because we had boasted to the king that God would help us. You are going to declare that my boast in God will become reality. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you what that means. Some of you, you've told them in your office that as the Lord leaves it, you'll get a promotion. You've told them as the Lord leaves it, you'll be married. As the Lord leaves it, your approval will happen. You will not beg for it. I said you will not beg for it. Some of you have told your friends that my children will do well as the Lord leaves it. You are going to pray that my boast in God, my boast in the name of Jesus, it will become reality. Go ahead and pray, everybody. Boast in God will manifest. Amen. Everything you have said God will do for me, Amen. He will do it for you. Amen. I said your boast in God will become reality. Amen. I said your boast in God will become reality. Amen. In the name of Jesus. From those that you know, from those you don't know, God will raise support for you. From those you know, from those you don't know, God will raise support for you. Amen. 